Winston, thank you so much for your time. In the light of, of what you're saying, and I know you're aware of this campaign for a voice into the parliament, what's your advice to Australians? Well, the great thing is that you are going to have a referendum. Now, at least you'll get the people of Australia to have their say, where in our case, it's happening covertly behind the scenes, laser-like with the universities and all sorts of cultural fellow travellers doing all this in secret towards a pathway of co-government and uh, in a what used to be for 70 years a unicameral system, they're looking for an upper house where Māori have the final say. This is all out in public law lectures and what have you, again, unlicensed by the taxpayer, unknown by the taxpayer of this country, but it is, it is a major and there's no other word for it, Marxist drive to t attack our democracy. Mm. We've got all this, by the way, in our classrooms and our universities as well. Uh, I mean, ba the, the horse is already bolted. I mean, I mentioned earlier that when visitors fly to Sydney on Qantas, that's how they're setting down on Gadigal land. When you fly to New Zealand, you're welcome to Aotearoa. Uh, how long is this going to go on? Well, can, can I just say Aotearoa is not the name for New Zealand. It's a French Polynesian construct. And it's an insult to the Maori of the South Island where the name is Te Wai Ponamu. It's, uh, it's a celebration of the Greenstone. Now, also, if you hop on now in New Zealand now, they don't call it Air Aotearoa, but you'll, fly, you'll, you'll see that we're being told by the hostess uh, in the film that we're watching as travellers that we're going to go for a ride in a waka in the sky. Mm. This has got absolutely laughable. Uh, but it's all been done in the taxpayer's name. Meanwhile, but, but Winston, a whacker, a whacker is a canoe. What the hell's that got to do with flying planes? Well, Alan, you're being logical. <laughs> See what the problem is here? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, Winston. Some days Can ago... Some, the, uh, sorry. The, the, roading, uh, the road transport people in our country, that's the uh, government industry, is called waka kotahi, which means a waka on the road. You see, this is just getting unbelievably ridiculous and ludicrous in the extreme, and it's done at the cost and in the taxpayer's name. Absolutely. You see, let me tell you the story. Some days ago in Queensland, a woman was attacked by a dingo. That's a pretty serious problem. If you heard that on our television stations, it took place on Kagari and involved a Wongari because not only has Anastasia Palaszczuk renamed Fraser Island, but in her enthusiasm for all things Indigenous, dingo, the term that Sydney Aboriginals use for our native dog, that's been replaced by a local name. So there we are. We didn't know where the joint was or where what was responsible for the attack. And I suppose dingoes will now finish up with a multiplicity of names, given that there are over 300 different languages spoken by local people. I mean, and you, you're right. There's been no government announcement about these changes of names, no national debate. You say if elected to government, your team, New Zealand First, your party, would remove Maori names from government departments. A big commitment. I guess it's winning votes. Well, it's also a commitment where people are going to stiffen up and harden up and realise what they are facing. Do you realise that with all these name changes in this country, you've got fire firemen and firewomen and fire services trying to get somewhere with a name change and they don't know where they're going. <laughs> where every second is where every second is critical is critical, where lives are going to be saved by the speed with which they get there. This is the kind of fast that we're having to live with. And it has to be stopped in its tracks. Because the people who are pushing this are an elite who are doing it in the name of the mass number of Maori who never asked for it in the first place. And what about the health department? Well, again, instead of getting the operations for people, not waiting eight years or eight months and getting emergency treatment when you're there, no, they're changing all the names and they've also got a preference of the criteria by which they will be seen. The ethnicity will see you being treated first. Now, ordinary Māori despise this. An ordinary Māori with a European wife or Polynesian wife or an Asian wife is going to, or husband is going to despise the fact that they will get treatment first and not their, um, their spouse. But this is what these people, these apparatchiks at the top, behind closed doors, are doing.